This video is to demonstrate and discuss the step-by-step -step procedure of setting up a sign dual fatigue analysis using ANSYS ENCODE Design Live. As on today, 4th February 2016, setting up of sign dual fatigue analysis using direct procedure is not supported in ANSYS ENCODE Design Live. So, we are going to discuss a workaround of using sign sweep specification to mimic the sign dual specification. For today's discussion, we are going to use a stepped cantilever like structure subjected to a tip load. The structure is subjected to vibration test for 5 hours at sign dual frequency of 47 heads. Our objective is to predict the damage or life at the upper fillet region of the structure. The designer knows that the frequency of this structure is around 45 heads. Since the forcing frequency is 47 heads, one would expect a dynamic magnification due to the resonance effect. Predicting the stresses for fatigue calculation by using a static analysis is not enough. Hence, to capture the dynamic magnification, a harmonic analysis is carried out for the frequency range of 30 to 60 Hz with frequency steps of 1 Hz. Also, a 5% constant damping ratio is assumed for the harmonic analysis. This video mainly concentrates on ENCODE design life setup procedure rather ANSYS harmonic analysis procedure. I am going to quickly review the harmonic analysis setup procedure here. The frequency range is set from 30 to 60 Hz with um, number of intervals of 30 Hz and also a 5% damping constant is used. A tip is subjected to 125 uh, Newton of forces. Upon solving this problem, here is the uh, quick view of tip UI displacement response against the frequency. From this graph, one can clearly see a resonance effect around 47 Hz. Here is a quick uh, view of max principal stress distribution at 47 Hz. One can see a maximum uh, principal stress around the fillet which is around 345 MPa. Please note that we are going to use unaveraged um, nodal stresses for the fatigue uh, calculation. Uh, unaveraged nodal stresses are generally conservative compared to uh, averaged uh, nodal stresses. However, if required, uh, one can do a mesh conversion study to, uh, to keep the mesh size um, <coughs> fairly uh, converged. Now let's start uh, set up the uh, vibration uh, analysis. Drag and drop encode SN vibration uh, fatigue analysis system on the solution cell of harmonic analysis. Open encode design life to set up the fatigue specification. When ANSYS ENCODE opens up, it's going to um, it's going to come up with a, a predefined process. Now let's start uh, reviewing the stresses that are brought from ANSYS to ENCODE. Let's look at the uh, principal stress at 47 Hz. Again, note that we are going to use um, unaveraged nodal results here. I'm going to use uh, absolute max principal stress. Can, you can see 
the max stress is around um, 345 MPa uh, at the fillet region, which is same as what we have seen in ANSYS. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to uh, remove the bill of material uh, coming from workbench. Uh, instead, I'm going to uh, define the material details um, uh, from uh, ENCODE itself. I'm going to stop this video here. Uh, in order to keep the video file size uh, reasonable, let's continue uh, in second video.